Hi everyone, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Halls and more. I swear to you, I'm feeling better, but my voice speaks otherwise. I know, it's still super raspy from the week of coughing and post-nasal drip and all that hoopla, but the emergency, which I still have some right here, this stuff is amazing. This stuff is amazing. I drank two packets of it in two days, and that helped tremendously, so I did grab more um, to continue on with it, and then to, um, have it on hand if I get sick again. Anyhow, I do have another Dollar Tree and Dollar General haul for y'all, so I just wanted to get this posted so I can get this stuff put away. I, whatever, y'all know what I look like in this it is. Um, this is not in any particular order. It she literally just thrown in this bag, like Dollar Tree bags inside of this other bag. Okay, so I picked up this cute little gnome tin. Looks like a treasure chest. <laughs> looks like a treasure chest, but I thought it was super cute. And I don't know if I'm going to use it to, like, do a gift in or cookies during the holiday. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was super cute, so I had to pick it up. And I also picked up this gingerbread tin. And it's got the gingerbreads on the sides. I thought that was super cute. I swear something fell out of this, but whatever. We're just going with it. I did find the um, little clear church ornaments that light up. So let me make sure these work. It does. Like so. I think these are really pretty. If I ever make my make it to Target. I want to look for one of those like glass snow globes because I think this would be super pretty inside of there. I just don't know how, how I would turn the light on and off constantly. I'd figure it out. Um, I did also find this. They're just calling these mini wreaths, but you could even just put these like around a pillar candle. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Some of these are kind of rough. Like I dug through the box for the best looking ones, but you see here how the berries, like you can see all the glue smushed in there, but they're not horrible for a buck. And I like how the pine has got the flocking snow on there. So there's that. I did find this cute garland. It's just the foil green and holly. This is the last one they had. And you get 25 feet in this. I don't ask me where I'm putting it. I don't know. I did find the box of dots and the cherry lime and vanilla flavored gumdrops. I love dots, so we're going to give these a try. Put that there. Uh, well, the piece of my mini wreath came off. No surprise there. You know what I mean? You all know what I'm saying. Okay. Good enough. And then, in this bag... There's only two things. I picked up some more parchment paper. I like using this when I'm using, like, baking chicken on a cookie sheet or whatever. Or really anything. But paint is the last of it. And then I found this folding brush with a mirror to put in my purse. I thought this would be good for me to have on hand if we're out and about. And this was actually the last one they had. It's like a lavender color. straight well the, I washed my hair today that's why it's so poofy and then I ran the hair dryer through it with the hair comb straightener part, part but never with the flat iron so that's why it's looking a little yeah dry but it works perfectly fine and for, like if you're in a pinch yeah why not throw it in your purse I thought I broke it no I didn't okay then let's go to this bag I think this bag mostly gift bags and boxes. So I found this gift bag. I just thought it was super pretty. It's like a navy blue with a bunch of snowflakes on it. There's no glitter on it anywhere. And the sides are the same. And it's a pretty decent size. This is by the Vo Voila brand. But it doesn't have a size on it. So, But I thought that was super cute. And then I came across 
these gift boxes, you get two in a pack. These are 10 by 10 squares. So this one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. So you get two of them. They're the same. And then I found this one with the snowflakes on it. Same size, 10 by 10 squares. And then I picked up some of the Christmas tissue paper. I found this one and I thought this was really pretty with the like greenery and holly. And then I like how this one has like um, Merry Christmas, love, believe, peace joyful all that stuff so you get 16 sheets in this one and then i picked up this one and i like this one because of the plaid and like the um, craft paper and this one has 14 sheets in it that's it for this bag for this bag i did pick up just one of these Cedar picks in the red glitter. You only get five pieces. This was the last one they had in the red. They had silver and gold, but I was like, well, let me see what I'm going to do with those before I continue on buying anything else. And then I did pick up a pack of the foam glitter stickers. You get trees, snowflakes, and reindeer in this. You get 33 pieces in that. And then I found this cute tin, and I just liked how the lid had a bow already on it. I don't want to untie it, but and it's cute. It's got, oh, I got good reflexes. Got the gingerbread stuff on this one as well. I only bought one Christmas cup so far. I'm proud of myself. But I like this one because the lid it just has this sliding piece. But it, it's like du double insulated. Or it looks like it is. And it says eat, sleep, and be merry. And it's clear. It doesn't say how many ounces this is. It does say hand wash only. Do not microwave or dishwash. Not microwave or dishwash safe. That's okay because I don't have a dishwasher other than these. I really want... Oh, well, we'll do this next. I bought this pack of ornament filler. You get red, white, and green, like glitter. And I picked up this flannel back tablecloth in the red buffalo check. What I, But I did see... I see it on, did I see it online? I don't know, I seen it somewhere. Either somebody, no, I don't think anybody will have it. Um, and, oh, I got a another box of the Downy Weeds. Um, I don't know, I know there's a, um, you know, a disposable tablecloth with gnomes on it. That's what I really wanted. I searched all of the tablecloths they have, but they didn't have it. So that's fine. And then I did find the Challenging Color by Number um, adult coloring book. This is by Kappa Books. This isn't even by Greenbrier. And I think I seen Twisted Gypsy haul this. And I was like, oh, that would be perfect. Because when I do the adult coloring book, sometimes I do struggle with, like, I don't know what colors I want to do what. So this one just tells you what you're going to do for the colors if you want to. So it takes the thinking out of it. And sometimes you just don't want to think. You just want to do. You know what I mean? Oh, what's in this bag? More gift bags and boxes. So in this bag, I grabbed this really cute um, gift bag. And it just says Merry Christmas. This is a paper bag. And the reindeer is in glitter on this side. And then it's flat on that side. And the side panels are just that paper bag like material this one says touch me I'm fuzzy and it is just on this side though it says it's the most wonderful time of the year I think this is super cute I don't even know if I'm going to use this to package anybody's gift up with or if maybe I will do a DIY with it and then the side panels have the buffalo check and then there's this one that says joy to the world it's black with the wreath on there and the side panels are Nothing special, same thing. Black. And what else is in here? I did pick up this little gift box as I thought this was too cute. And the lid says, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And it has like the glitter, sorry, shake, you know, in, in it. Cute little gift box. And then I got a box of the Merry Mix Mike and Ike. So it has lime cherry and holiday punch. And those. Last bag from the DT. 
Oh yeah, I found this lump of cold cookies. These, they look disgusting, honestly, but this is what my kids deserve after all the crap they put me through all year long. But it says, Too Good Gourmet, Lump of Cold Cookies, Dense Chocolate Fudge Cookies, Net Weight, One Ounce. I bought two boxes of these. I don't have to eat them. I don't care. I just, I always end up getting them some type of lump of coal, whether it's like one year I got marked as a bar of charcoal soap, but the packaging said lump of coal. And then this is the only thing fall related. They finally just now get these jars into my Dollar Tree end of fall season. And these are the last two they had. So this one says it's fall, y'all. And then, did you come out of the bag? And then this one just has the orange and black plaid leaf on it. So, I grabbed those for next fall. Is that it? That's it for the Dollar Tree. Let me put some of this out of my way real quick. Stay out. So how you guys been? Hopefully better than me. Okay, then I ran over to Dollar General because Tayton wanted hairspray and her bougie little butt. I only want Tresemme. So if you're not going to get me Tresemme, don't bother getting me any. So I ran in there. And the Tresemme there was $6, but I wasn't going to Walmart. I was like, forget it, whatever. But, well, of course, I had to hit the Christmas stuff while I was in there. And I shouldn't have because I spent a, a nice little chunk. But, mm, whatever. I did find some gnome window clings at Dollar General. It says very, no, not very. Merry Christmas gnomies. And welcome gnome and all that. So, it's got all these gnomes and they're outside like skiing in that. It's got this little house, a Christmas tree, the deer pulling a sled with the tree on it. A couple girl gnomes. I thought this was super cute. So it says it comes with 21 clings. So there's that. I picked up a couple gift bags from Dollar General as well. So of course, huh, I found this gnome one and this was only a buck. Isn't that cute? And then the sides have the green with white polka dots. But I, I just love this. And it's like a paper. It doesn't. It's thicker than the paper bag material ones. So it just has that aesthetic to it. These ones are like the paper bag material ones, but you get two gift bags in this. So on this one, you get the um, gingerbread peep guy and girl with the house and the trees. And then on this side, you get the candy canes and it says happy holidays. So for a buck for two, I didn't think that was bad. And then I came across these mason jars, which I'm going to use for my like hot cocoa station when I start doing the Christmas decorating. This one was only a dollar, and it says Candy Cane Lane, five cents, and it's got two candy canes. The lid has candy canes, and then I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not. Let me see. That doesn't help. I don't know why I always do that. And then I got the larger one, which was two dollars. Like, that's, that's not a bad deal. Two dollars, same exact thing on here. The candy Cane Lane, five cents, and the same kind of lid. Ooh, I almost broke that, and I would be sad. And then I came across, and this was the only one they had, and of course I bought it. This glass. Shh, she's in the other room. She doesn't know about it, bought any of this. She doesn't pay any mind to me. So, you know, the whole mug, if you guys have been part of my channel, if not, welcome. Sorry, didn't say that in the beginning. I hope you enjoy my channel. hope you subscribe and become part of my crazy family. Anywho, so if you already know, I made a deal with the devil, my child, Peyton, and I told her I'm not going to buy any more mugs, and if I buy any more mugs, I have to get rid of one to replace the new one. But I'm not going to tell her I bought one, because this is a Christmas one. There's something in my hair. And it's not going to be out all year, but I have to get it, because it's a gnome, and it's clear, and it's big, and it's so cute, and it says Merry Christmas on there, and it was $2.00. And it says this is 14.6 fluid ounces. So, like, what? He's so cute. This is so filthy. I can't, obviously, I will wash it before using it. But it is adorable. I might use it all year round. And I don't care what she says. I'll hide it. I'll hide it in my office. 
in my bedroom. I'm gonna hide it, but I'm gonna use it. Sometimes she doesn't pay that much attention to me, and when she doesn't, it's like I. Mm. She she might not even notice it until after Christmas. And I'll be like, what? I can't this. What are you talking about? Okay. Last bag, you guys. I got a mess here from DIY. Um, I did find a gnome. I found a few gnomes, but I only bought. I didn't buy the every single one I found. And that's actually it's my receipt. Y'all, you guys need to be using the app for fetch if you don't, because it's just free money. You just scan your receipt in there. You get points. I'm up to like almost fourteen thousand points, and you get. I think for every five thousand, you can get a gift card. So I could get a ten dollar ten dollar gift card, like Starbucks or whatever, right now. But I'm I'm adding it, like I'm letting it grow because you they even have Amazon on there and everything. Anywho, we're sidetracked. Um, I did pick up several things that are gnomes, but I did not pick up every single one because I'd be poor. Well, I'm already broke. I'm not gonna lie, but I get paid this week, so whatever. You you know. Anyhow, it's enough about. <gasps> Hell. Excuse me. No, his nose fell off. I'll find it in this bag and I will reglue it. But just picture his nose is there. And this was $3. Well, bing's my hot glue gun's out here. Sorry, you guys. It fell. I'm going to turn this on. Let it get warmed up. Because once I find his nose, I'm gluing it right back on there. Okay, so we'll just set him there to get fixed. Okay, no, okay. Oh, I did also pick up this mason jar, which was a dollar, and it has the snowflakes on it. And then the lid has the snowflakes as well. They had the tall one too, but I made myself choose between the tall one or this one that was the only, this was the only one left. And I just love the shape of this one. It's perfectly, like a perfect cylinder, cylinder, globe globe shape. More like a globe shape. It says candy jar. It was $3. I just love the shape and the snowflakes. I think it's super cute. So, I got that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I did get this. This is a decor ornament. I would not hang this on anything. It's super heavy. It was 2 bucks. And it has this white stuff on it from the styrofoam in the box that it was displayed in. I'm going to have to work on. It just has my initial on it with a little Santa hat. I thought that was super cute. But yeah, it's super heavy. Like cement. Mess with me now, children. Throw this at you. Keep mouthing off. And then I found this 9 feet of decorative ribbon for Christmas DIYs mostly. It's white with the red polka dots. I thought that was cute. Put it in that bag. Yep. Okay. And then, oh, I found this little Nomi. He was the last one there. He says Happy Holidays. The little felt hat. Well, this piece is just felt glued onto the MDF board, but he's super cute. Although, now that I'm looking at it, his nose is super crooked. That's okay. He was $2. Last one there. Still haven't found that nose yet. And then I found, I wanted to, I found his nose. I don't want it. Okay. I wanted the Christmas trees of this, but they didn't have it. All they had was the snowman. It's the DIY three count of um, wooden snowman. It was only a buck, but you put them together. I don't know if you guys can tell. So they're going to look like 3D. So you can paint these or whatever. And then put them together. Like this. Slide them into each other. And there you go. So I thought those were cute. But I did want the Christmas tree ones. But like I said, this was all they had. And this was the last pack they had. So I scooped them up while I, while I could. And then the rest of this is just ornaments. And I got these for my kitchen when I do the, like, candy theme or gingerbread whatever you guys know like the sweets we're gonna call it the sweets theme in my kitchen so i got this little house it says merry and bright and it's got a little janky um pipe cleaner wreath on there but i thought that was cute 
And then I've seen other people hauling these too. Nope. Yeah. Hold on. These three. And I was glad I finally found them. This one says old fashioned candies, five cents. And it's just like, it looks like a tag. So there's that one. And then I found the Merry Christmas that has the gingerbread house on it. And then I found this one. I don't know if I've seen anybody haul this one. A very sweet Christmas and it has the gingerbread man on it. And then I came across, these are the last two things you guys. These two, yeah, it was just these two like this. And I thought these were super cute. So this one also says a very sweet Christmas and it looks like a piece of candy wrapped up. And it's got the gingerbread man on it. And then it's got the little bead. These are plastic white beads. And then this one has a gingerbread house on it, and it says Holly Jolly. And then it has like the little candy things on, peppermints on the side. So I thought those were super duper cute. That's it. I felt like I bought more than that. I mean, I did buy another thing, a Sunny Delighted Dollar Tree. That was the last one they had, and I scooped it up. Because, you know. And Peyton likes that stuff, too. Let me see if this hot glue then is ready. It's not. Okay, well, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys liked this video, my content, and all that fun stuff. Um, if you're not already a part, of, like I said earlier, if you're not already part of the family, welcome. I hope you sub hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be working on my DIYs this week. I think I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to keep it all Dollar Tree based because I have, like, thrift store stuff in my basement and everything. Like, I'll go to thrift stores and stock up on stuff to use for things and then when I get an idea I you know I go rummaging through my stuff so I might have a mixture of things this time um I might have I might do a recipe this weekend I don't know we'll see what the weekend holds and then for Thanksgiving my son is actually hosting it which is the first time that's ever happened well he just got his own place too but it's been solely me for the past 20 years, so this is going to be interesting for sure. Um, I'm designated to bring the pies, of course. And then he even called my daughter and told her, and she, she's 17, well, Mom's bringing the desserts, and Peyton, you're going to bring either a cheese and cracker and pepperoni platter or a fruit salad. And she's like, well, I'll bring the crackers and cheese because it's cheaper because the fruit is out of season. Huh. Smart girl. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, that's it, you guys. We will talk soon. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Um, it means the world to me. We're almost 200 subbies. I think I need like 11. I think we're at 89 right now. So just a reminder, once we hit 100, I will be doing a giveaway. I haven't decided what the giveaway is going to be just yet, but uh, I have a ton of stuff. So trust and believe it will be worth it, worth it um, in the long run. Um. I don't know, you guys. Have a great night. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all. God bless. Stay healthy, please. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I struggle with that. Um, but we're, we're working on it. I'm just like a little choo-choo train. To keep. I think I can. I think I can. I'm losing my mind. Excuse me. I've lost it a long time ago. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Good night. Love you.